My entire childhood, my father and I used to take late night walks due to his insomnia from working a late shift. Our neighborhood was considered very safe and ultimately was an urban neighborhood even though one of the roads towards the back of the neighborhood was lined with thick forest for about a mile and about a quarter deep which made a circle back on itself. All of these walks are very dear memories of mine except one and it ended up being the last one. Along the road with the tree line there was a single street light to illuminate a small plot of land that someone owned but was very overgrown and ill-kept. It was common for us to walk this road to enjoy the sounds of the forest, the lack of illumination, and the ease of circling back. One ordinary night as we were walking and making conversation, my father abruptly stopped, pulled me close, put his hand over my mouth, and crouched down with me. He pointed toward a single illuminated plot roughly a hundred yards away. At first I didn't see anything, and thought he was pulling my leg, but just as I began to protest his grasp, I saw a very small humanoid figure, roughly three feet in height, scrawny with long limbs, and seemed to be wearing some kind of weird overalls or bodysuit. It came out of the plot's brush line and cautiously took in its surrounding before signaling towards the brush. After a few seconds, two other small humanoid figures looking just like the first one materialized as well. After a few moments of what looked like a discussion, all three made a dash for the forest tree line. Once this happened, my father picked me up, threw me over his shoulder, and made a break for our home which was roughly a half mile back. Now keep in mind, my father was six foot five and about 220 pounds, and at the time I was roughly 120 pounds and he never showed signs of slowing due to his fear and adrenaline. After that night, we never took late night walks. He installed four bright motion detection lights around our acre plot and brought home a dog. The few times I've tried to bring it up, he doesn't want to discuss it and made it clear he never wanted to. I think that that night, my father and I encountered alien beings. The image of them standing there huddled together is still very vivid after 15 years and it frightens me.